For our final venue, we take you back in time to a place in Northern California where steam whistles once echoed through the woods. Earlier, we showed you the McLeod River Railroad number 25 working on the Oregon coast. This is her sister, the number 18, preparing for a fall photo excursion in October of 2004. The 18 is a Baldwin 282 built in 1914. This turned out to be the last such special as the railroad had recently announced it would be selling both 18 and 25. People gathered in the rain to watch the special depart. The train passes a rural grade crossing between McLeod and Bartle. One of the most popular locations to photograph the McLeod was the Lake Britain Bridge, located north of Burnie. It was featured in the movie Stand By Me with the McLeod number 25. On October 17, 2004, the 18 slowly heads north over the bridge in preparation for a photo run by. With photographers ready, the 18 puts on a fantastic show of smoke and steam as the fireman blows down both sides of the boiler. At Clayton, a fire tender waits to replenish the number 18 for her return trip to McLeod.
While the 18 takes on water, more water falls from the sky in the form of rain. With a full tender, the tanker departs and number 18 continues on a return trip to McLeod. We return to McLeod in January of 2005, after a series of winter storms have left the town buried under several feet of snow. City crews are busy clearing the streets, and the number 18 is being called upon to do some clearing of its own. This was the last scheduled excursion for the number 18, and a crowd of people are on hand to watch the action. After stopping to pick up a wedge plow, the number 18 steams for the Bartle Y, where it will plow part of the ham bone leg. The train continues to Bartle.
the sun comes out and a crowd is lined up at a grade crossing to watch the special pass. Mount Shasta stands sentinel in the background as the 18 approaches the Bartle Y. Before plowing can begin, the switch points must be cleared by hand. Several crew members and volunteers use good old-fashioned elbow grease to get the job done. With the switch points clear, the number 18 moves ahead carefully to avoid derailing on the switch. As soon as the drivers slip, the engineer backs the train for another run. With a long enough stretch of track cleared, the engineer is now able to get a good run at the snowbank. 
and the plow hits it with incredible force. continues to plow the ham bone leg of the Y. Engineer makes one final plow run. The McLeod River Railroad No. 18 was sold to the Virginia and Truckee Railroad in 2005, and sister locomotive the No. 25 went to the Oregon Coast Scenic in 2011. Today, much of the railroad has been abandoned and the rails east of McLeod removed. But our memories of the McLeod River Railroad will remain with us for years to come. In July 2005, Trains Unlimited Tours chartered an NRHS convention special over the McLeod, and on the morning of July 3rd, we catch the special negotiating the switchback at Signal Butte between McLeod and Mount Shasta City. The train has been divided into two sections. The first is led by McLeod SD38, number 37. After clearing the switch, the train is then backed down to Mount Shasta.
Within a few minutes, the second section arrives behind Western Pacific GP20 number 2001 and a classic FP9A painted in Southern Pacific Black Widow colors and numbered 6304. The train reverses direction at the switchback and heads for Mount Shasta City on what turned out to be the last train we shot on the McLeod. This program is an excerpt from Northwest Heritage Railways, which is available on DVD, high definition Blu-ray, and digital download. If you would like to order this program, visit 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below. And to see more content like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos added weekly. From all of us at 7idea Productions, thanks for watching.